Hello everyone and welcome to the weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream. I'm Community Manager Cordovan. Thanks very much for joining us. Don't forget to right, follow us. Started here in just a Oops. quick second. I always do that. See, I have to mute it so that I can uh, not have that happen. And then I unmute it so I can listen to it so I can highlight it and get it on Twitch. And I never remember to remute. I tell you, it's just one of those things. But uh, anyway, uh, welcome, everyone, and we do appreciate it. Don't forget to follow us on twitch.tv slash stream if you'd like to be notified for when we're going live, which is every Wednesday starting at noon Eastern, minus 4 GMT on twitch.tv slash stream. Uh, we also are going to be uh, streaming at 1.30 Eastern today, the Summer Fling static group that'll be on Argonessen, so you can stay tuned uh, for that as well. I just want to welcome everyone uh, in the group. We have a uh, full group here today uh, with uh, Titan and Mega Slash, Nokia, J Run, and Reflex. And uh, we're going to be uh, oops, we're going to be running some uh, some uh, Amrath stuff. Just probably, I'll start with the closest and see how far we get. <laughs> I already see a chat over under first death. It'll probably happen if we run to evasion invasion. Uh, pretty certainly at the end fight, but we'll see. Uh, Otherwise, uh, what do we got going on? Well, the big news we have is Thursday, tomorrow, we're set to go up with a on Lamania, the public preview server, with update 23. We're going to have a special event from 4 to 7 Eastern to take a look at the new Orchard of the Macabre raid. And uh, we also are going to be putting groups in throughout the day on Friday, so check out the Lamania forums for more information on that. So that's really the big focus uh, this week is uh, Lamania and getting update 23 out the door there. Uh, we are going to be posting up a, a bit of a, I guess what you might call, mini dev diary hopefully later today that'll take uh, provide a little backstory as to what you can expect in the uh, new Orsha the Macabre uh, area in terms of story. And let's see, what do we got our bonus this week that starts uh, late Thursday morning Eastern Time? Uh, heroic XP boost of uh, 25%. So that'll be our, our bonus for the week. So, Alright, if you guys are ready, let's uh, let's get started here, huh? Do you guys have a preference as to which uh, which quest we run? Otherwise, you might as well just run and take care of new invasion here, huh? Yeah, Genesis is fine too. Sure. Uh, in terms of, uh, we did have a question, uh, are we going to do a character wipe on Lamania? I think the answer to that is going to be yes. Uh, it just makes sense to start with a clean slate for the new update. Um, and we had a bunch of people request that so that they could uh, copy over their newest characters uh, onto the uh, Lamania preview server. We are a bit of an over-level group here running this. Uh, we do have some uh, heroic level characters in the group, so we're kind of a mix of uh, epic and heroic. So we're running epic. Figured, you know, Amrath is something we haven't uh, haven't done before, so might as well do that. I think this character is actually flagged for a uh, Tower of Despair, but we'll see. This will be interesting. I have to admit, I am pretty bad at this quest, so... <laughs> I've never been very good at the end fight of, uh, of uh, this particular quest. I do, however, know that in general what I do is, uh, yeah, I'm getting XP too. Nice. Yep, yeah, me too. Not too bad. The end fight. The end fight's always my nemesis here. Alright, we'll do uh, Death Ward. What else do we need? I guess can never have to have Spell Resist. Yep. Hey, uh, Cordovan, um, I've never done this part before, so, um, yeah. 
Sure, just uh, basically stick with the group. Uh, essentially the way this quest works is there's multiple floors and we need to find the way down to each of the subsequent floors. And then once we get all the way to the bottom, we have just a, a crazy, uh, crazy fight. <laughs> I don't know what your guys' uh, method for finding the way down is. I usually just follow the wall to the left until I, uh, until I find the entrance. But if you guys have a better system, let me know. So this uh, dungeon does have, you know, some randomly placed kind of uh, paths down. It could be one in a couple of different locations. So you really are kind of just in a maze finding your way through it. Uh, this is uh, one of the few quests in DDO as well that is timed. It's a pretty generous timer of an hour and a half, but uh, if you're brand new to the quest, it could take that long. <laughs> As we'll go through. You hear desperate songs echo in the walls, punctuated by the occasional unfortunate scream of the prisoners, that one of the devil's many conquests. Nice. I got 100 beat for Earth Elemental. Nice. I don't suppose anyone uh, cares to free the prisoners here. And we got, yep, all right. I seem to remember there used to be uh, what might be generously termed a trick you could do in this. <laughs> I don't know if you can still do that or not. <laughs> Uh, Reflex, did you say you found the uh, actual um, path down? Cool, maybe we'll skip finding all the prisoners then, just to save some time here.
Yeah. <laughs> the left hand rule, right? That's old old maze trick, right? Whenever face with the maze, just follow the left hand wall. So let's see what else we've been going. Like I say, it's really been busy at work this week. We're really just uh, putting the uh, finishing touches on a uh, early. I should note that this is going to be a particularly early build on Lamania, so uh, I don't believe, say, any of the new Orchard que Epic Quests are going to be available, and we're not going to have uh, the landscape available yet either. Um, but we will have, like I say, the new raid to show off, and uh, all the armor up changes, uh, new enhancement trees, and just a whole bunch of stuff. In addition to, uh, you'll see a bunch of the bug fixes and such that are in the release notes, so uh, should be a ton to preview. But in particular, if you can make it from 4 to 7 p.m. Eastern on Thursday, then uh, you should do that. And we're going to be uh, based, we can't, uh, we're basically going to be using our admin abilities to just auto-teleport uh, people into uh, the raid area once it's full. So, uh, just uh, basically form a group and uh, call it done. Alright, so we are following... I think we're still following to the left, right? So we kind of cleaned out this little section. Pretty sure we already did this too. Yep. Let's see, uh, left hand, let's see. He's only this one next. How many uh, rounds, someone asks, uh, Carpen G, of U23 pre releases are anticipated at this point? Uh, it's a good question. Um, I know it's going to be at least a couple. Uh, we have, uh, I know we already have the next uh, two or three pretty well mapped out. Um, I think it just kind of depends how everything goes, but we can ex expect at least a couple of them. Uh, probably at least two or three uh, different uh, props to Lamania here. And uh, typically it's going to follow the standard Lamania schedule, meaning it opens up uh, sometime on Thursday if we can, sometimes Friday, but usually Thursday, and uh, runs through the weekend, gets shut off on Monday.
Man, I need to get some striders on this guy. Is my LFM still up? Yes. Oh, is that what my problem is? Yeah. Well, besides just not being very good. <laughs> Path is proving elusive. The sniper thing. Sniper heat rises. I got it too. Shot. Somebody needs another the one. Ritual must be near. Uh, for the opening of Lamania, will the devs be on? Uh, we will have a dev event from 4 to 7 Eastern Time uh, to run the new raid. Check it out. Uh, that's when I can guarantee the devs will be on uh, Lamania. Um, I personally am going to be on as well for as much of the day on Friday as I can be. I'm uh, basically going to be doing my regular work throughout the day, but keeping an LFM open on Lamania and then for the raid. And whenever the raid group fills up enough, I'm going to... Uh, take everyone into the raid and then get back to work. So I won't really be interacting much probably on Friday, being as I will be doing my regular work, but the goal is to be able to get as many people into the new raid as we can, so... Otherwise, I've uh, I've been playing some of the new uh, new edition of D and I guess you could call it. You guys, ready? All right. So, uh, for those who don't know, the trick. F the trick to this is that we need to basically keep moving, but pause. Because when we're fighting the end guy, see how that thing opens up? If you're in there, when that happens, you're going to die. So you basically just need to make sure you stay uh, out of there. Ah, bummer. So typically the way it works best is people will clump up together as a team. Oh, or just feed them, I guess. <laughs> back to the ether. Your home is now safe, and Barnzidu's death will leave a power vacuum for the other devils to fight over. But typically the way it works is, you know, everyone clumps up as a group, right? So this thing is going to pop and you're here. You fight the guy for a little while, then you move clockwise or counterclockwise, whatever you want to do. And just sort of keep that pattern going uh, to avoid uh, falling into sort of those uh, pits of death or whatever. Yeah, I, I do need to take care of those curses, absolutely. For some reason I was not having luck with Remove Curse on it, though. It's telling me it wasn't working. Hmm. Uh, what level range is the you new raid? Uh, I don't know if I good. remember. It's high, though. 28? 29? 30? I think that's what it is. Maybe 30? I don't know. 
Hey, Steve. What level is the new raid? 30 on Alright. 30 on normal. There we go. The new raid is level 30. <laughs> All right, well, uh, what do you think? Uh, move on to the next one. So not too surprising, the new Abbot's going to be, uh, you know, high-end content, right? And uh, same with the Orchard. I believe the Orchard is 28, I want to say. But you can expect basically this content uh, pack, the epic versions of Orchard, to be on the uh, upper tiers there. This jutting ridge of stone is the Devil's Spine. It runs along a deep chasm, forming a natural shield against Archon attack from the south. I've heard doing Genesis, I I don't know it very well now. But since when has that stopped me? <laughs> Or something. Hey, forbidden hazard leads into a devil's citadel. Ah, sins. The Yeah, Genesis can be a little uh, confusing, uh, still to the state of me. There's a lot of kind of ways to get through things that are, you just kind of have to figure your way through. The hall resonate with the sound of chant as tightlings begin to summon a powerful being to deal with your intrusion. The essence of Cinder's form dissipates as the killing blow is struck. That's more deep than I think. Yeah, not too bad. Dualistic chants bellow forth from the tea blades. summoned ally, revealing a hallway leading deeper into the citadel. Or at least we're getting some good favor out of this. You feel a different magical signature ah, that's cool. from each I of like the this section. On the table. Anyone got a preference? Oh, I don't know. Heck if I know. Let's take the ham because it's ham, huh? 
As you pick up the item, the hall's guardian springs to life. Be gone from here, the tree. You've slain the banquet's hall guardian. The figures you must have the statues are in fact devils that have been magically frozen in place. Just call me Cordvan Orthon Hunter. have a uh, search and disable issue here. Anyone uh, got any thoughts? She goes face plant her way through it, I guess. Yeah, there we go. that either, I guess. <laughs> Lovely. Let's go this way. He goes about his rounds. He looks rather gullible for a devil. Alright, I guess we're not ready to go there yet. Yeah, we'll have to uh, head up north. I think I saw some spike traps there too. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I thought so too, but maybe I'm wrong.
So everyone, uh, been checking out uh, D and D. I guess the latest edition. You can pick up your player's handbook or anything. I uh, actually uh, got a uh, copy a little bit ago, and I've been uh, just last night. I actually rolled up uh, my first uh, new edition character using the new uh, player's manual. Made a uh, halfling sorcerer uh, that I'm looking forward to actually taking out of the, and uh, rolling some dice with. Be a lot of fun. Go this way first, I guess. Unless someone knows which way you're going. Seems to be used for some sort of magical ritual. Your eye is drawn to a pile yeah. that looks out of place. There's a chest here. Come on, we can't pass up a chest, can we? Yeah, I, I had, uh, I mean, I suppose, you know, most people have probably heard this already, but I actually started playing with 1st edition, and uh, played a lot of 2nd edition, and played a little 3rd, uh, 3rd 3.5, but predominantly uh, discovered, uh, rediscovered pen and paper 3.5 through DDO, to be honest. And then I actually play quite a bit of 4th uh, edition as well, uh, when time permits. So I'm, I actually liked it. I liked 4th edition. So I'm actually really looking forward to uh, uh, playing this edition as well. I think it's pretty cool. One of the things I really like about the new edition is it seems to... Um, you know, streamline, say, some of the combat, uh, remove some of the crunchiness, but also have a really nice sort of a sense of kind of flavor and role-playing and all that in a way that I'm uh, really looking forward to. Reminds me kind of a little bit of almost like, say, first, second in that regard. They went back to feet instead of squares and all that sort of thing. Although, you know, what, a square is five feet, right? So you can still do it, whatever. But looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. The devils bound these prisoners here as a way of guarding this lever, as pulling the lever would surely kill the nearby captives. Well, that's not very nice. See, that's trapped, right? So they just said it would kill the captives. <laughs> He's got a good reflex. You guys do it. 
Uh, yeah, the devs do get together and play pen and paper. Um, they're in. There's a lot of different groups really going on, different campaigns at any given time. You'll see uh, fairly regularly people get together, say, after work or um, even during lunch and stuff to uh, play campaigns, and then a lot of weekend groups as well. Uh, so it's not so much like everyone's getting together, but a lot of people on this team have regular campaigns going on. Okay. You get the distinct feeling that you've sealed your destiny. Yeah, Carpenter asks a question in chat that I'm sorry I don't actually know the answer for. Um, he mentions that it's his belief that perhaps uh, Turn on Dead is not working correctly in the epic levels. He says, half of the turnable targets are being turned, which kind of leads me to think that it must be at least working somewhat. Uh, the other seem to become immune to turning unless specifically targeted, so rather like maybe the AoE is not, not quite uh, functioning as would be expected. Uh, I'm not familiar exactly with that bug, though. I would just encourage you to send in a bug report and see what we end up with. Um, you know, I, I can't speak specifically about that issue as I don't really know what the status of it is or, you know, what the state of that bug is. But it, if it's uh, really only turning on a single target, that it definitely doesn't sound right. So, strangely, it'd be only an epic, but... Yeah, I mean, I know I was turning recently in uh, Heroic, but I, I haven't really done any turning on Epic Levels, so I can't, can't really provide any good experience there. I'll have to take a look at it and see. You know, this guy's a cleric, although he's not at all spec for turning, so... Oh, we probably have time for something like, I don't know, weapon shipment, don't you? I think? Genesis is probably a bit too much to get started on, but... Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we should do an avid flagging stream next week. I think that would take a couple of weeks, because you basically have Necro parts 1, 2, 3, you know, and then 4 put together all your litany stuff. So that that would actually be a pretty lengthy uh, flagging there. I'm not sure about that, but... But we're, uh, you know, for the epic version, it's we're removing a lot of that uh, sort of uh, difficult flagging and just, uh, really just, you're going to run the quests and pretty much be ready to go for the raid. Ah, Caligus is uh, confirming that he too has that issue with the uh, epic turning. Sounds like in particular, uh, at least perhaps on epic areas, you have to, you know, the turning is only working on a single target rather than the AoE, which sounds strange to me, but uh, I guess we'll have to have our QA and uh, folks look into that when time permits. Probably not today, because they're working and getting update 23 on the Mania, but... Uh, <laughs> But hopefully soon, yeah. So subsequent turns do work, but only, so basically you have to have a an undead hard targeted in order to uh, use turn undead. If you don't have anyone turn, for example, it just doesn't really uh, proc. Is that what I'm hearing correctly? There's mobs right here.
Do you know, uh, for those who uh, seem to know some about this uh, turning bug, a quick question I'd have is, uh, do you know if it works if you target yourself? Is it just a matter of nobody being targeted causes an issue, or specifically that uh, the undead mob has to be targeted? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll take Blur. I give it to you. Oh, uh, I must already have something then. Uh, yes, I believe we are. The current plan is to yeah, do a character wipe. Yeah, uh, clear tree you got there. All right, good to go. Yeah, I have to admit I'm in the same state, uh, Yamanir, as I, I don't really have any epic characters that use turning with any regularity. Strange that you would get half the group if you target yourself. That just leads me to believe that obviously the AOE effect must be must be doing something. So I'm not sure why subsequently it wouldn't work, but again, that's something our QA folks can look into.
Uh, dancing ball. Working quite well, I must say. It's regular circuits around here. Yeah, it went back and forth on uh, some, but I think the majority is people did want a wipe uh, predominantly because maybe their character has advanced or uh, they're, you know, no longer focusing perhaps on Bard and stuff for Epic Three Barrel Cove. Uh, and in general, I guess from a, I don't know, from a working on the server perspective, it just makes sense to start with a uh, fresh slate for these things. Um, just in case any issues might crop up. It's always good to, to have that as a uh, constant. Uh, and really, uh, nowadays, it's less of an issue now, because you, you can automatically level up in the dojo, you can get uh, pretty much all the new loot in the dojo, so there's really not uh, really any particular reason to sustain your characters on Lamonia at this point. Um, a little bit, you know, if you're gathering for favor, perhaps, but really, do you really need to worry about that on Lamania? Not Not that much, so... Um, it still makes sense to just do a wipe, and then that, that allows everyone who maybe had issues with the last character wipe, or has changed their characters, or wants to update a new version of their character to be able to do it. So, when we looked at the balance of the requests, both, you know, say to do it and not to do it, overall, uh, doing the character wipe was the, uh, uh, decision I think that we've reached here, so. If you feel very strongly otherwise, and enough of you feel strongly about it, let us know now. <laughs> But for the most part, we some when we asked, people were like, "Yeah, do a wipe." So the, the majority probably did. Yeah. The Great Plains Gate finally opens, but the Plains Caller collapses in exhaustion. Hopefully, the Kaneth weapons will arrive in a few moments. Ah, glad uh, Carpenter's talking about liking the Morning Lord class. That sounds awesome. I uh, I've not actually d uh, leveled up a uh, Morning Lord. I've made a couple. Including, I think, one for the live stream here, but I haven't really uh, dug uh, too much into uh, running them, which is kind of strange because you know I really do like uh, really do like my clerics, but uh, I don't like my clerics. <laughs> I haven't really uh, felt a huge need to uh, do uh, to uh, Morning Lord, but then you know it's pretty awesome though, starting at 15 and all that sort of thing. So. Alright, not bad. 
Perfect timing, too. <laughs> oh, that's true. The guild does sort of get wiped out and all that sort of thing. Although you can re-level up and get you pretty much all the guild stuff you need as well. Yeah. Nope. No bobble there. Oh, I saw mad loot, though. Someone pulled the mad loot, at least. That's pretty rad. See if I can find that in there. Chat. There we go. Mad loot. Meddling, shrieking, thunderclap, resonance, sonic lore, level 18. It's a bard. Looks like a loot. Empty purple. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, did I miss a chest? <laughs> Yay, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, chat. I never would have had that uh, 2,655 gold pieces, an impressive trophy, and shrieking while the rib cracking without you. Alright, I think that's going to have to do it with uh, with my uh, questing here today. I'm going to wrap things up. I'll take a couple uh, questions from chat. Uh, just a uh, quick note um, that I will be sending you guys a code uh, probably late this afternoon uh, for some turbine points as a way to say uh, thank you for joining me uh, today on the live stream. I really do appreciate it. Let's see. Not much in that quest reward list. Just might as well go with the Renown. That's usually my default, if I really don't see anything. It's not too bad. Totally resist. We'll take, take that. Let's see, where's our third quest? Got to get my end reward list. Yeah, see, I thought I had a, uh, well, I think I still have one somewhere, but it's, you know, I don't really use smiting that often, to be honest. But uh, since my one weapon got uh, beat up. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the four down. All right, thanks very much, everyone. I really do appreciate you joining me. Yeah, that mad loot's pretty awesome. Uh, Epic Eld Edge is probably maybe the choice, but the Mad Loot, come on, man, it looks so great. <laughs> Alright, any uh, final questions in chat? Like I say, uh, you'll hear a lot more today, hopefully, about uh, some of the story behind uh, the Orchard of the Macabre. Tomorrow we have Lamania, and a heroic 25% XP boost running through the weekend. And uh, get a big chance to take a look at uh, an early state at, of update 23 including some of the release notes uh, later this week as well so thank you very much for joining us uh just a note if you do follow us on twitch.tv slash ddo stream you're notified for whenever we go live and we're coming back in about a uh, half hour here uh with the summer fling static group uh live in argonesson gonna be dropping some uh, turbine points in the chat here in just a minute too as well so thank you very much for joining us and we'll see you again next week